Hello, boys and girls! In the meantime, I've been busy, as you have maybe uh, seen, I put out the bonus video where I fixed the uh, tree farm, and uh, I also finished the uh, bamboo farm, and now we are on our way to the nether because I right in the face. Because I did update to 1.16 and I already have been there. Um, yeah, well maybe I uh, put on uh, the helmet, the golden helmet, just to be on the safe side. Because I, I'm not sure, but I think uh, the nether actually uh, has become more dangerous. So I did explore quite a bit, but not uh, all that much. And we are coming out here on the nether side in the good old nether waste biome. And I prepared a way all the way to the top here uh, where we will start our first nether project a gold farm and I also uh, uh, broke uh, through the roof here because this is uh, basically uh, a tedious process so I will <coughs> I will uh, create a, a zombified piglin farm um, based on a design by uh, Nembom and basically I could still do the, the same thing as uh, I had in my uh, last season um, but as there was a post uh, detailing that uh, this mechanic of the uh, angering of the pigmen is basically a bug and uh, will be removed at some point, I figure we can do this uh, the legit way uh, to get XP and uh, uh, basically kill a uh, uh, ba build uh, farm and kill the zombified pigmen uh, by sword. So now we are at the top and this one will be glass then two spawning layers and on here well let's just make a bit of uh, space so we will need a bit of that um, so we will have a platform around here not yet sure about the uh, size ouch and uh, basically here in the middle was it that block yep then basically here we will have the next platform uh, in the middle we will have uh, um a turtle egg which will attract the zombified pigmen and um, they will fall down left and right of them um so 
basically I would need about 19 or 20 of those layers to uh, to max out on the uh, XP but that would get us pretty far down uh, to the uh, nether roof floor <coughs> which in turn uh, means that a uh, lot of uh, the area below that needs to be uh, spawn proofed in order to get somewhat decent rates and because uh, when killing this the zombified pigmen um, you have to stand at the bottom and I am thinking uh, I can design this farm to not have all that many layers so maybe uh, seven or eight and then also not have the uh, the uh, complete drop height so that the uh, uh, the zombified pigmen quite a word isn't it um, are down to one health but a bit uh, uh, higher up that would um, uh, um, place us higher above the uh, the net roof which should be good and basically it's, it's a trade-off um, I'm not sure how good it is but um, on the other hand I don't want to uh, to spawn proof uh, uh, everything uh, below so yeah we will see how it goes if this is a somewhat uh, half decent uh, um, XP farm and if it's not we will figure something else out um, I mean as a as an alternative uh I can uh, also um then basically build uh, a second uh farm uh that's purely uh AFK -able where the uh zombie five piglings actually fall down to their death and that will be a, a super efficient uh, gold farm that was this design I basically aim um, uh, for a combination um, where I can have uh, the the automatic gold form as well as the uh, uh, XP variant uh, in the in the same form and uh, just based on uh, if I stand down there killing them manually or up here um, in an AFK spot that should do the trick so um, while I try to build this up um, you don't have to watch that because it's pretty boring and time-consuming so see you at the end all the grindy work with the build-up is done and I have quite a few layers uh, for them to spawn and as you can see they do spawn they track the uh, turtle eggs there in the middle every second layer and then fall down the drop shoot but then the issues begin um, one of them being that um, they do not all land in the uh, 
designated spot which would be uh, uh, those three uh, ones in the in the middle there um, and therefore either they die on top of here and I miss out on the uh, drops because they are not collected or they uh, just stand around uh, filling up the uh, mob cap so this can be fixed by basically building the, the drop shoot uh, uh, up all the way to the top so they uh, do not have possibility uh, to move out of this three block space and then another issue that I have is uh, that basically if I uh, push in uh, these blocks here um, they will still take uh, enough fall damage especially from the from the top uh, so that they are killed and uh, I cannot kill them manually. Um, other options would be uh, either using uh, honey blocks which poses another issue because uh, uh, I have to uh, take care of the uh, blocks that would stick to them or to use um, hay bales which would dampen the fall uh, and uh, as I have mine cards below I think the items should still be sucked out so let me try this one and then we will have hopefully a final look I managed to fix the issues so I moved everything down in order that I could push in the uh, hay balls into the minecarts and that way uh, any items on top of it get picked up uh, like yeah, let's wait for some and then the uh, XP flows out through here and in the back I also put in the lava bucket so any excess items get spit in here and what I have set up the uh, item sorter here is basically uh, I think five times the nuggets then ingots ingots one time nuggets and ingots and the last one is rotten flesh so while building up uh, we have this all filled to the top then here we have two double chests and then here some gold ingots so this should cover me my uh, gold needs for uh, quite a while so I'm happy with the design or the at least the uh, technical design um, I'm not sure how to decorate this or even if decorate at all but maybe good idea will come and in the meantime I can focus on other topics that also needs doing so until next time I wish you goodbye I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye!